What's up everybody, Kent's Garage Gym here. I want to show you how to find mirrors that you can decorate your garage with so that you can watch yourself while you're lifting. Uh, one of the best ways to do this is if you go to Craigslist. I'm going to go to search and just type in mirrors or mirror. Okay, Let's see what comes back. Let's see car mirrors this mirror see this one would be too small this one would be too expensive and not the right shape the secret to finding these mirrors is actually um, finding somebody who doesn't know what they want or doesn't know what they have or they're just trying to get rid of something now if you're searching for something brand new for, for uh, gym mirrors then uh, you're gonna be paying big money for that but if you rename that and call it bathroom mirror well, guess what? They both have the same, both have the same property. Um, here's one. This person knows what they have. One hundred and seventy dollars. That's what you're looking for, but that's not the price that you're looking for. It. Now, twenty dollars is typically about the price that you can, about the price that you can expect to pay on Craigslist for someone who's trying to get rid of their mirrors. Because there's a lot of people who are trying to uh, redecorate the bathrooms or something like that. So I bought, I bought two on here. One was for free. I found on the side of the road. I bought two on here, $20 a piece from two different people. Here's another good place, uh, Facebook. And if you look, there's the Marketplace button. Touching that. I'm going to go up to the top of the Marketplace and type in Mirror. And I think you can select the range for how much money you want to spend. Um, some of these are good. $20, $15. These are decent prices. They're not bad prices. There's a free one right there. But let me keep on scrolling and see if we can't find a bathroom mirror. Because uh, if I'm mistaken, look at this for free. Used bathroom wall mirrors. This is perfect. And there's two of these. That would be great. Keep on scrolling. $40. Also excellent. You could probably bargain that. Moving on down, let's see, I believe I saw one here recently that was about $10 for a pair, too. So, I mean, you got you got that one that's for free, you got some that are very cheap. I mean, this is one of the best places to go. No reason to buy brand new mirrors that are called gym mirrors as opposed to bathroom mirrors. Here we go, $10 mirrors. Awesome. All right, so you know those two mirrors that I found for free on that Facebook marketplace? I had to get them to free. And uh, it, it's kind of how, that's kind of how Craigslist has, uh, has trained me. I know that it was Facebook, but the internet, I guess in general, the, the internet marketplace has sort of treated me this way in that if there's something out there and it's at a good price, you better get it or else it's just gonna be gone as soon as as soon as someone else picks it up or the, the seller changes their mind. So I went and I got them. I already hung two mirrors. Um, I've got one off to my side and one back here. So uh, I'm a little bit familiar with how to do this. Uh, I picked up some mirror hangers. These are plastic. These kind you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's for like two bucks. I think they also sell for maybe five dollars and ten dollars if you get the metal kind. I just, I just like the style of this. If I could find this in metal, then that'd be great because you can tell where the mirror is going to fall into place with this kind right here. I've had, I've had them break before when I set the mirror in it, um, but I just replace it right after, I mean, right after it breaks. So the way that you're going to uh, put it into the wall, with mine it's, it's relatively easy because you see nails going up and down where the stud is at, so there's no real guesswork for me. Uh, what I do is I measure from the ground up, and I'll say like three foot, two foot, just, just depending wherever. And I don't know if the camera can show it here, but um, see this plug right here? Well, there's also another plug on this side, so on this wall, the only possible place that I can put it is above the plug. I, can't, I don't want to block the plug, so. I gotta put it down. Um, so it's gotta be at about this level right here. So what I do is I mark, I measure right here and I mark, I think it's like three foot, and then along where all the nails are, I mark 
exactly the same place. But when I put this down, I'm only going to put two of them down uh, temporarily. I'm going to put the, the one at both ends down, the far left and the far right. And then I'm going to grab two guys. We're going to set it down there slowly. I'll tighten the screws in those two, and then I'll start adding more at the bottom. And remember when you're doing this, you always want to have more at the bottom than the top. You can put four at the bottom and maybe just two up at the top because all the weight is falling down at those at the bottom. So. I hear a crack. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's the plastic. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's probably the mirror. Now y'all yeah. turn around and pose in the mirror. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, when you hear that little crack, I just stopped. 